start the recording again. Okay. It's taking its time to kind of move things, um, to move videos over, but. Let's see. Let me go ahead and throw my specter down as well. There we go. Yeah. Yeah, remember to let them come into this zone there, Black, so that we can get them to kind of hook up on the, uh... Yeah.
How many you figure we should probably go for? What's up? <laughs> well, I mean, you know, reputation can come in handy as well, so. <laughs> oh, that was interesting for a little bit. I had like an Eximus bubble around me for a second. I was like, wait, what? <laughs> I, I, huh? <laughs> I guess. Whatever works. problem with all these guys is that I don't know who's good and who's bad. <laughs> Hmm, I think I lost the the ancient warrior or ancient healer over here. <laughs> oh well. There we go.
I'm throwing some, um, you know, I'm, I'm throwing the energy burst down so that people can try to recover their energy as well. So, I think I'm oop. Uh, give me a second. I think I'm going to reduce down the game. Oop, hold on. Come on. I think we're going to reduce down the game audio here because I can barely hear you guys over the game here. Oh, yeah, there we go. There we go. Oop. Hello. Yeah. <laughs> got knocked. Got knocked down. It's like, what the heck? <laughs> Boy, this guy's pretty strong. Yeah, I've been collecting them, you know, from time to time, so. Let's see, I'm currently sitting at 33 solo toroids right now, so. I figure probably like what that <laughs> Yeah, Vinny has her uh, Vinny has the boost on, so it's you know, she's Yeah. She's able to get even, you know, double that amount, you know, you know. The, f the few that we get, she gets like double that, so <laughs> if not triple. <laughs> True. Oh my gosh, there's a lot here.
Yeah, I do appreciate when, you know, the, you know, you have the Warframes that are, you know, uh, that, you know, basically add. So, I mean, the tentacles to 100% in, you know, um, you know, drop chance. You have the, um, you know, you have the Strangling uh, Dome that does basically the same thing, if I'm not mistaken. It's, it's 100% as well. Um, and you have the spoil that, um, um, also had its a potential of 100% extra drop. I think our specters are gone. Oh, ow. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Oh, wow. Okay. They're hitting pretty hard right at the moment. <laughs> Thank you very much. Okay, let's see. Let's see. There we go. Okay, let's see. I'm currently at 37 toroids right at this point. I figure if we can get to about 50, I would say, then that'd probably be a good, nice round number, and then we can get the heck out of here. Or at least that's what I'm thinking. That was close. <laughs> Yeah, I think my, uh, I tried to throw down another, uh, um, Spectre, and I think he died pretty quickly. <laughs> well, my, uh, the, the Spectres that I'm using aren't, like, you know, um, uh, like the, the high tier anyway, so... There 
go. More tentacles. Vinny, you died. Bro. <laughs> I didn't even see you go down. Well, I mean, if we could save you, then... That's that would be ideal, so Ooh, out that. <laughs> I'm on the stairs. One of the nice things about my secondary gun is that, you know, I'm, uh, I'm not, I don't need to necessarily change it, so. Ling Prime is down. Oh no. Ling. Live. Gotcha. All these people just hanging up into the air. <laughs> Let's see. How are we doing? Oh, I got 53. Okay. Uh, you guys ready to go? Shall we move on to the next area? All right. Let me throw down some tentacles and try to make our escape. Blackheart, get out of here. <laughs> All right, we'll move on to the next area. Oof, 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 oof. My health, my health. Ah! <laughs> oh, ouch. Thank you. There's a lot of enemies around here. Okay. Let's get out of here. Ah, bleh. <laughs> <laughs> At least we're f far out from the... Uh... Oop, Link Prime. Oh, no. We gotta save Link Prime.
and get rid of these damn turrets. There we go. Let's get out of here. All right. Uh, next stop, Enrichment Labs. Yeah, when you have when you have warframes that allow for you know more drops, it really helps out in in trying to get more of the um, uh, the toroids that you're looking for. So, ooh, ow, 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 yeah. Um, yes and no. Um, the, the tentacles can grab the, the enemies, um, but only on occasion, you know, so like the, the tentacles won't necessarily grab the Xmas, you know, so, uh, whereas you know, for the spoil, you know, where you're basically, um, right. So, so it, it's all, it, oh, oh, oh God damn it. You son of a. Yeah. Sedna. Yeah, that's an interesting place. <laughs>
Yeah, that 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 takes a bit. <laughs> doing, doing those arenas. Now, to be fair, I didn't. It didn't take me that long to get all the parts on Sedna. Um, the the well, okay. When when fighting when fighting the assassination boss, you know, um, what's her name? Um, you know, it it didn't take me too many fights to get the parts that I was kind of looking for there. But um, the problem was trying to get the points necessary to even face her so that was that was the main uh difficulty that i had i think with um with that portion of the content you know just getting the amount of point yeah so <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I've had that kind of luck as well from time to time. You know, I think I had—I think I was trying to get um, uh, what was what was that one Warframe? Um, oh gosh. Um, the one with the with the tox uh, with the toxin, you spread it around and it basically goes map wide. Um, Saren, I think. What's up? Yeah, the spores. Um, there was a uh, during the um. During the event before, you know, I had uh, I had purchased about I think it was like six or eight relics to try to get the um, to try to get the the last remaining um, rare part, and every single last one of them failed, and I'm like, God damn it, <laughs> you know. Couldn't couldn't get that last remaining rare part out of it all, so so I'm 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 looking forward to when they do allow for her to come back out of the vaults, then you know I can purchase the those relics again to um, to finish off that warframe to to get the prime, up. so. Um, who is it currently? Right, right. Yeah. 
Yeah. I, I was I was talking about that, you know, uh when when I was kind of reviewing the uh um those those changes and that that one was the one that I I really didn't like, you know, the fact that that it pulls from your ammo pool. But I mean, I I get it, you know, that they're trying to yeah, they they're trying to balance them out, but um Yeah. The Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we're not we're not getting that many out here. It seems like makes me feel like maybe we should move inside. Yeah, I've only got about sixteen as well. So uh, I don't normally see that many people pop up in here. So maybe. Maybe, yeah, well, this this room is a little difficult. Well, maybe here, in this room? I'm trying not to destroy those um alerts uh, alert signals but <laughs> That's one of the things about, um, you know, Warframe in the sense of resource gathering. 
you know, you could really have, you know, if, if you team up the right kind of Warframes, you know, you can get a lot of resources out of the whole experience kind of thing. So, um, now, at one point in time, they actually uh, tried to limit that. They actually said, hey, uh, this, we're going to basically say, uh, these combinations don't really work. Or, you know, they're, they're not going to, uh, they're not going to stack with e each other. And, oh, my God, did that, like, upset the entire community. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Maybe, maybe not so much this room. I'm not seeing them kind of popping out of this room. Let's move on to this next room here. Like right here. I'm seeing a lot more kind of showing up in here than I am anywhere else. So. We don't have any alerts going on right at this moment in time. What the heck? <laughs> yeah, I guess not. Okay, there's one. <laughs> Yes, go on alert, please. We want more people coming to try to stop us. <laughs> Do-do-do-do-do-do.
We want more people to die. Come here. <laughs> We want more spawns, where are they? <laughs> I guess we've killed off the entire army, huh? It's like they don't have any more volunteers left. They're like, you... <laughs> wait, you want us to go and die for you inside the space? Hell no. <laughs> Can we say, you know, can we say no? Oh, right, I still have to do the uh, night wave to slide and kill at the same time. Forgot about that. The kill enemies while sliding isn't that difficult to do, so if if Yeah. There we go. Kill 20 enemies while sliding. Easy done. What I like to do sometimes when I'm when I'm like dealing with that particular issue is like I like to kind of come to the stairs and then just kind of slowly slide down. You know, like some stairs or a slow 
um, decline and it'll like a hill or something like that. And you'll just keep on sliding and sliding and sliding. And you can just keep on killing enemies that approach you. So. Okay, right, let's see. How many do we have so far? I only have 27 Clada Toroids right, th right now. Hmm. So this is interesting. We're not getting nearly as many on in this particular encounter right at this point in time. So The canister. Oh, ow. <laughs> Hmm. Now we got some more over here, huh? Oh yeah, we got a few more over here. Okay.
Having some fun over here, Black? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It can be difficult sometimes. But I mean, if they have, if they've set down like six or seven of them, then breaking one won't be that bad. But obviously, you know, you you might not be aware of what they have put down yet. <laughs> so. there Ouch, 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 oof. <laughs> Stop throwing me around, damn it! <laughs> ah, they keep on setting down bombs and I keep on running into them. Ah! Thank you. Yeah, it seems like over here and, you know, the these uh, little um, side hallways is actually pretty good with uh, spawning in enemies, so. Oof, ouch. You guys look like you need some tentacles. Here, have some. Someone's down. Yep. Oh, wow. There is a lot of guys around here. <laughs> Okay, let's see. How are we doing on Troids? 44. So, figure maybe a couple more and then we'll get the heck out of here. Alright. We'll move on to the next zone. We can probably, like, start working our way towards the front, probably. See if we can get a couple along the way, maybe.
Unless they despawned. So. There was a Troy down here. Yeah. So there is. I think that hit my 50 that I was kind of aiming for personally. I got 40. I got 49. <laughs> One off, damn. Ah, there we go. There's my fifty. <laughs> okay, let's let's get out of here. Um. All right, now we are off to the spaceport. For more torrids. <laughs> It'd be so nice if they actually had it, like, in, you know, you can get all three torrids in a specific spot. But at the same time, I could totally understand them going, this is, um, you know, that there's a, you know, Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. You did? Yeah, I guess so.
Oh yeah. We're... Now I don't know if these guys, you know, that there's some coil drives right up here, you know, up where I'm standing, and I know that those spit out enemies, or you know, they normally spit out enemies, you know, when they're on the road, but um, I don't think they like spit them out in when they're kind of yeah so it'd be kind of nice if they did like spawn out enemies like on a regular basis but So, um, you know, if, if you're ever, you know, if it, you know, if you're interested in kind of using Hydroid there, Black, um, I normally, you know, um, I only keep the, the mod selection on the, the one with the, like the tentacle, tentacle storm, um, so, because I don't really use him for anything else, really. You know, um, he's he's good when it comes to like defensive missions or survival missions, um, but um, there's there's typically better um, uh, better warframes to do that too, like um, you know, like a uh, Vaubon, for example, I tend to like Vaubon. Um, yeah. You know, not to say that Hydroid isn't isn't good in crowd control. The problem is, is that the tentacles don't always grab soldiers. Um, and they don't they don't do anything against the um, like the Xmas uh, very well. I mean, if if an Eximus shields are up, then the tentacles don't grab them. So, uh, whereas, like, if you're throwing Fletchets down with your Vaubon, then they still shoot at the shields, taking them down. So, um, so, yeah, yeah. Uh, Vaubon regular? Oh, where was he again? He's Nightwave? Let's see. Oh, I can't, I can't see the purchases. Yeah. Um Yeah, that's Yeah, you know. That's that sounds right though. Yeah. Yeah.
Um, but um, when it comes to hydroid, um, I I tend to like maximize his range in terms of um, you know adding mod attributes um, because um, a lot of people like to go with strength, but the thing is is that you know sure strength you know would add uh, damage to the tentacles. But you don't necessarily need the tentacles to kill your enemies, you know. You just need them to grab. And the further out the tentacles can go, the more chance you have on them being grabbed, right? Or at least that that's my thought line on it all. You know, if I can... Yeah. Um... You know, if I if I kill one guy that's close, then the, that one tentacle gets freed up to go grab someone else that's you know far away, you know, or grab someone, you know, grab another person that's close, you know. Um, but um, the the only problem with the you know the range being super far is the fact that. Um, the if if your tentacles do kill off the enemy you know um it you know the items being dropped are like all over the place instead of fairly condensed so you have to kind of you know you have to be aware of that potential like sacrifice oop vinny Okay. Yeah. Um you know, so for for hydroid you know, you want to go, you know, based off of my observation, you want to go um, range, you want to go efficiency, and you want to go duration. So, um, you know, you don't necessarily need strength. Not for, not for the tentacle um, item drops. So... I mean, if you want to do, you know, strength for, like, a killing build or something like that, you know, without that particular mod, then you're welcome to do that, but... Yeah. At least, in my particular opinion. Um... You know, you might find some people that might like disagree, like, you know, hey, you want to keep the um, keep the range short. So all the tentacles are like kind of bunched together all in one particular location. So you can just kind of um, kill them like right there in that bunch. And there's there's some sense to that. But um Yeah, I mean, you only have a certain number of tentacles in, um, you know, that they're going to give you, so. Well, no, no, I mean, the, the tentacles... The amount of tentacles don't really change. So, you know, that, uh, like, you know, I, I kind of wish that, you know, if I set some mods down for strength that I would add tentacles, but no, it doesn't. So, um...
Yeah. Yeah. And you know, there's some sense in that. You know, I've 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 done um what I what I like to do is I typically went to like survival maps, found myself a bottleneck, you know, put my back up against and you know, back up against the room and then just spam the tentacles over and over and over again. Um now with mine being super maxed out in range then you know uh they would grab for you know a couple of rooms around um but um yeah Yeah. Well, I mean, we could, you know, we could go inside this building, for example, and we would um, limit, um, you know, how far they can kind of reach us. Um, but... Um, I don't know if there's any really like good bottlenecks inside here at all, so yeah. One of the main problems that I've had with um, with Hydroid in the past, though, is that it, you know, Hydroid loves to take up a lot of energy. Like, um, what's that? Yeah. Um, you know, that's that's why you know suggested you know try to get. you know, as much efficiency as you can in there because like right now I'm at 637 and oh right, I, I don't I don't cost any um, I don't have any cost on it anymore <laughs> I forgot about that um, but um, I think in the past it was it was taking like 75 um energy just to cast it so you know i it, it would basically drop me down to like you know 550 or so you know just to cast it once so that's why you know the duration and efficiency is pretty much a good thing to have when it comes to the um um when it comes to tentacles overall so Where are you? Yeah. Gotcha. There we go. You're welcome.
Okay. Let's see. Where do we stand? I'm at 25 Vigatoroids right now. Okay. I like when they, uh, you know, spawn on in and instantly, like, get grabbed by uh, Vinny's uh, Strangle Dome. <laughs> Go away, you. <laughs> Oh, okay. Oh, ow, 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 ow. <laughs> that Terran Jackals can hit like a brick sometimes. Oh, one of the disadvantages that, you know, I, I sometimes have a irritating time with is that, you know, if if uh, the tentacles do grab, it can be really difficult to kill off the enemy once they're grabbed. <laughs> um, because, you know, if, if you're if you're using like a precise weapon, like a bow and arrow then you have to be super price, uh, precise while the tentacles just trying to swing in the body around and around. It's like, come on, damn it. Keep, stay in one spot so I can shoot you. <laughs> True. 
But I mean, when they're standing still, it's so much easier. <laughs> Okay. Let's see, where do we stand? And I don't, <laughs> didn't have, uh, I haven't gotten that many more. <laughs> I'm only at 31 right at the moment. Yeah, no, no worries. Yeah, I gotcha. You're welcome. Die. <laughs> Yeah, I think I'm missing like one more. I think I'm missing like one part for um, Necros Prime as well. I have like, so yeah. There's, there's like, yeah. I think I've only seen it like outside of the. Um, outside of vault like maybe once um you know and that's that's besides the research and so yeah no worries That Terran Jekyll's still up here. Die, you! Oh, okay. Oh. <laughs> Come up here to try to fight this uh, jackal and... Uh-oh. Okay, Vinny, you're dying a bit.
bit much there, so be careful. You're running out of lives. Oh, ouch. Point blank range to this jackal. Die, jackal, die. Where are you? Okay, there you are. Yep, yeah, I see. Well, they're really bringing in their uh, additional soldiers, aren't they? <laughs> ooh, 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 ooh. There's there's quite a quite a number of them up there, so be careful. Yep. Okay, quite a few Vegatroids up there. I think I got, I think I got about five of them. Yep, same for 41. We'll we'll push it to about 50 and we'll we'll head on out again. Or we'll we'll head back to 14 after that because I mean, let's let's face it, 50 of each will keep us good for for a little while, would you would think. Maybe. <laughs> Oh boy, we got some enemies up here. There. Oh, we got another jackal up here. Oh, 
I got you. Oh, <laughs> I I had you. Here, I'm gonna I'm gonna kill myself too. Bam. I needed the uh, Helios Prime restored anyway, so. Oh boy, there was a lot of enemies up there. Oh gosh, damn it. Oh, come on, get out of the way. <laughs> These Xmas with the shields is can be so annoying sometimes. <laughs> Okay. Okay, let's see. Where do we stand? Yeah, about forty four. Boy, these guys are really tough up here. Ooh, ow. Hold on there, Vinny. Boy, they're really throwing everything at us now, aren't they? It's like, oh, okay, you, you're you're talking about you're talking smack about our army. Well, here's some more. <laughs> Oop, ah. Let's see. Okay. Well, that's a little bit of a reprieve. 
Right before the storm, maybe? <laughs> I'm at 45 megatroids right at this moment in time. Oh, ow. Oh, he's leading me right into... Leading me right into a jackal. Wait, are these guys shooting at the jackal? Okay, it must might be yours. <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh, oh. You know what? Aim fire! <laughs> Well, the only the only problem with that though is the fact that you know you you can't really throw any like of the tentacles or anything like that down. So what's up? True, true. So I mean, if you're if you're in the um... Uh, if, you know, if you're in your, uh, mech, then the spoil should still kind of keep on going. Sa same with, same with Hydroid's tentacles. I believe it still kind of continues, but you can't activate it again. That's the problem. So, okay, I think we have enough. Yeah, I have 52 right at the moment. What about you? Okay, right, let's get out of here. Right, let's get out of here before they kill us again. <laughs> there we are. Whew, what a haul. <laughs> Thank you to, uh, thanks to both of you for joining us uh, joining on that. Anytime, anytime. Sounds good. No worries. 
Alright, so... Now... Uh, with with this many toroids, you could you could pretty much you know do a lot of rep grinding you know with little duck you know trade toroids for standing on that but um, yeah um, yeah and I don't think I really need much oh wait I do need some gyromax systems and at least one repeller system so let me let me trade some in um I figure probably about eight will probably work so So if I do five there and three there, that should give me enough to get to purchase one re repeller system and we'll do three gyro mag systems. I think that's what I need in terms of parts overall. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and leave the group here. Uh, I'm gonna head back up to my ship so I don't take you guys with me. <laughs> okay? Okay, let's see. Um, a pillar. Okay, yeah. So I need to grab that last bit of mineral here. There we go. Okay, and I can build this Certus Brace there, so that's good. Um, let's see. Um, okay, I can build a Clamora Prism as well, so let's go ahead and do that. And then we have enough for the proper scaffold as well. So we're going to go ahead and do that. So that's going to be awesome. Once once I get that 777, then I'm just going to be, or at least I would hope that I'm going to be walking all over everything. But I don't know what, um, you know, what the, you know, what the damage type is going to be. Like, is it going to be like a, precise like single shot like much like a sniper kind of um shots or is it going to be like a wide shot much like what my 223 is i don't really know that's so i'm i'm a little concerned about that in terms of the uh 777 hopefully it's not like a precise shot much like a sniper rifle would be because i'm I would be in trouble on that, <laughs> but, uh, let's see, Hey, uh, Blackheart. Um, I don't remember. Did I did I give you a prime as a gift at all? Okay. 
So, on occasion, I've I've given primes out for free to to others because um, I've had that given to me as well. You know, people have given me primes free of charge. Don't ask for anything in return. Right. So, so I'm thinking, um, is there a particular Warframe that you would love to have in terms of having a Prime? Okay. Okay. Um, now, okay. What about Avara? Yeah. Have you have you gotten Avara before, or have you seen Avara? Okay. Uh, Avara. Avara is one of the Avara is one of the best when it comes to spy missions. Um. And I have a lot of her blueprints. Like, yeah, yeah. The the regular Avara, you have to, uh, you have you have to go into the spy mission. Yeah. So, um, and you have to go to like Pluto. A spy mission to to get like her last part so she's not an easy one to get regularly you know um so um so i have oh, okay here let me let me write this down here real quick um what's up Yeah. Um, okay, so... Oh, yeah, no worries. Right. Let's see. One second, I'm checking through my blueprints right at this moment in time, so.
Okay, let's see. You said that you already had Nezure Prime, right? But that's like the only prime that you have, you said, right? Okay. Right, right. But Umbra is, it comes with the mission, so it's, you know. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so um, I compiled a list of, um, you know, Warframe sets that, you know, um, you know, I'm willing to give you um, one of the one of these prime sets free of charge. Okay. Um, so the question to you is, which one would you want? So I'm giving you a list here. Let me go ahead and actually type it into the, the clan chat here because um, it's a bit. <laughs> Hold on a second. Let me adjust my screen here so that I can see. Okay. So we have Atlas, Banshee, Chroma, Equinox, Inaros, Avara, Mirage, Oberon, Rhino, Titania, Wukong, and Zephyr. Now, if if you want, I can try to show you each one of these. So, you know, I you know, if there's one there that you don't know or you don't recognize, then let me know, and I can see about um, pulling out the uh, that particular Warframe to kind of show them, show show it off. Okay. Yeah, now as you get through, uh, you know, regular now as you get through the uh, the quest, so. Yeah. Right. Uh, I, I put them, I put them all on the um, clan chat, so if you want to you can just kind of look at that and the list of, is right there for you
Yeah. Atlas Prime inside brackets. <laughs> Equinox is an interesting Warframe and can be quite complex on how to how to use. Um, I personally haven't used Equinox all that much because um, I, I, f I found the the abilities of Equinox can be quite intimidating initially. I'm sure. Um, the you know uh you know if you if you get really good with equinox's abilities you could probably do a lot of damage with her uh, or him i i forget um but the problem is is that um the equinox has two um uh, two phases you know you have the light and the dark uh, when you're in the light phase, all of the abilities change into, you know, um, I believe it's like um, healing and support. In the dark phase, it becomes more attack and, you know, um, like attack buffs to to others around them kind of thing, if I'm not mistaken. So... Uh, Equinox can be, you know, can heal and hurt, <laughs> depending on what phase you put, you know, you're currently in. So, Yeah, uh, let's see. Oberon is a healer, pure and simple. <laughs> so, um, he, he is, you know, uh, Oberon is, you know, just... Uh, flat out can, it, you know, that he's he's basically the healer of the party kind of a thing, you know. So he he does have some attack abilities, but the majority of you know the main one that you're going to be basically using is the one that um, you're you're able to heal heal up, you know, yourself and others in an area kind of a thing. So. Yeah. Right. <laughs> mhm. Mm yep.
-hmm. One of the uh, one mission that I like to use Titania on is you know going to the void and going to Unko, which is typically like like the spot to get relics at. All you have to do is just go there, do the quick capture, and fly to the exit. And if you're if you're quick enough, and if you built uh, Titania well enough, then you you know I've I've done it in like 45 seconds, and you might even get faster than that too. So, um. Because you can literally fly anywhere with her. Now, um, I I do I do kind of want you know it, it makes me wonder you know if if you uh, if you throw them into like a competition between each other you know like um, you you get like the best uh like volt player you get the best gauss player and you get the best titania player who who would win in that race kind of thing right because gauss is supposed to be like the speedster you know supposed to be the like the fastest uh ever but can you really beat out on you know titania who could literally fly through pretty much anything <laughs> so um Right. So. Uh, I've heard a lot of people do like Chroma because he can, his abilities can be very unique and can be uh, quite powerful at times. But um, I really didn't find them all that useful personally. But you know, but le let's face it, you know, every every Warframe, you know. Uh, you know, there's always going to be some Warframes that you're never really going to like either. So, um, some you're going to love, some you're going to hate. I mean, it's just part of the, the whole process, right? So, um... Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, the ones that I normally use out of the list that I gave you um, you know that I that I've personally used and you know, we'll probably continue to use is Avara, 
Oberon, Rhino, Titania, and Wukong. Um, those are the ones that I personally use. Now, um, I'm not going to say that the others aren't powerful and they're not useful. You know, you could you could probably find uh, you could probably you know you know you might love like Atlas for example, especially with his fourth ability with the um, I think they're called the Manglers, um, Rumblers, yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so Black Heart's just going, Oh my god, there's so many how can I choose? <laughs> Yeah, Vauban Chassis, Vauban Systems, Vauban Neuro Optics, and the Credit Offerings for Nightwave. So. Yeah. Yeah. Mm hmm Oh yeah. Yeah, that's it. Um there was a uh, uh one one day uh, me crazy and Mr. Stab were uh we were trying to get um I think I've, I think we were like just like farming for like argon crystals I believe at one point in time and Mr. Stab had um I think Valbon Prime if not just regular Valbon and he got to the end uh, right where the exit was and he kept on throwing down all of the um black holes Uh, right at the very end and when I got pulled you know while I was just you know looking around trying to get some more resources I got pulled to the exit and all I saw was just a massive glow of just um, blue and black all over the screen the the sound of it was deafening it was it was it was like whoa what the heck did I just jump into kind of thing um Yeah. Um, matter of fact, I think I posted like the the clip of it um, in in the Warframe um, uh, 
channel, I think I posted like a slight video of it because it it really it really hurt <laughs> when when it happened. Um, let's see. It was some time ago. Um, yeah, it was uh, March, uh, March fourth, twenty twenty. So, uh, yeah, I forget to. Uh, see, I think I have. I think I still have it in my clip section on my channel. Here, one second. Let me let me go. Um, let me go see real quick. Clips. It's my channel. Let's see. Um, where, ah, there it is, yeah. Um, you know, I, I basically named it um, Epilepsy Warning. I'm so sorry for anyone to watch this. <laughs> because it's just, it it's so painful to look at. So... <laughs> yep. Yeah, I you... Yep, pretty much. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, then I'm going to go ahead and uh, are you are you free right now? Or are you are you in like middle of something there, Blackheart? Okay. I'm going to go ahead and invite you into a team, and we'll go ahead and head on down to the uh, uh, dojo, and I'll uh, I'll give you a var. Sounds good. Okay. Dojo. And you can just give me an ammo drum. Doesn't matter. Alright. No players available to trade, right? What? Ah, there you are.
No worries. Okay, items. There we go. Just give me a mod that uh, you have a lot of, like, um, you know, any kind of ammo drum mod, you know, just go to, like, duplicates and pick one that you have, like, 50 of or something like that and just put it in. You know, like if I if I go to mod, for example, on mine, and I just go duplicates, then no, well, then just grab one of those and drop it in. Yep, there we go. That's all you need. So. Congratulations, you now have a VAR Prime. You're welcome. So, you want to see a VAR Prime in action? Okay, let's uh, head, head on out and uh, I'll invite you and we'll go to like a spy mission. Um, Loki. Gotcha. Okay. Um, I got Avara all set up, so I'm going to go ahead and invite you in. Do you want to join us there, Vinny, or? Sure, what's by? Um, I don't know. You know, I'm, I'm not quite sure. You know, what's um. Let's see. Um. You've you've gone through all the missions already, right? All the quests. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I I I put one down. 
see. Where is it? Where did it go? Down here somewhere. Did I set that? Where did it go? Damn it, Roomba, where are you? There it is. There's my Roomba. Yeah, I've seen people that, like, you know, flood their entire ship full of them. It's like, oh my god, they're all over the place. <laughs> Well, go ahead and pick um, pick the one spy mission that you could use some help on, because both uh, it looks like Avar, uh, it looks like um, Vinny decided to pick Avar as well. So you're going to see both of us with Avars. Oh, really? Okay. Let's see. Okay. Let's see. Um, okay, it's over this way. Huh. Avar makes uh, capturing these targets really easy. Because they don't sense that you're around. Rolling around like the speed of sound. Okay, never mind.
want to do? Oops. Ooh. What's that? Yeah, you you can you can pretty much you can pretty much go anywhere with the uh with our Now No, oh yeah. The the sensor regulator is uh really difficult to to deal with because it has a lot of health. So you have to kill it in like one go or it will automatically trigger. So so you have to have like you know a really good weapon in order to to kill off all of its all of its health. So Yeah, which can be kind of problematic with, um, um, you know, with, uh, the sensors because they're, you know, they're, uh, um, you know, you, uh, um, you know, they're kind of flying around, so you don't know, you know, um, uh, so it might be a little difficult trying to get to the, um, um, you know, trying to actually hit, you know, the target sometimes. So, Yeah. Now, obviously, um, Vinny did all the work on that one, but... <laughs> but, you know, with... with... Avara, you can you can pretty much do whatever you want and not not have to worry about enemies. Now, obviously, if you make a mistake and you get spotted, then well, you know that's you know you screwed up. So I mean, you're gonna have to kind of deal with the consequences. Uh, you know, try to speed your way through a you know speed your way through the sp through the spy mission. Um, now, question, do you have Lua available? Okay. All right. Um, I remember um, there's uh, on Lua the spy mission there, Pavlov. Um, I had a really difficult time with that one because I would typically mess up on uh, the one with the the platforms that you had to kind of um, that you had to kind of grip upon and you know hold um, to 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 kind of jump from platform to platform to platform. I kept on messing that up and. What's up? Oh yeah, oh yeah. Uh, there's, you know, there's always. <laughs> um. Yeah. Um. I I did that one over and over and over again just so I could get used to like the best paths for it. 
um, there's there's one there's one section that uh, it takes forever to get through. But I mean, once you memorize what path to take on it, then you know you'll uh, it's it's it can be really difficult to forget sometimes <laughs> because it's so difficult to get through. <laughs> but What's up? Pego? Okay. Well, uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, close on down my stream and, and videos. So, um, but uh, if, you know, uh, I can probably stay online. I just don't want these videos getting too long uh, for my YouTube channel. So uh, let me go ahead and go through my little ending spiel here. And um, I'll go ahead and... Uh, send my viewers over to your channel there um dark okay or black black heart <laughs> so <laughs> okay so i'm gonna go ahead and uh uh uh, uh deafen on the discord real quick and i'm gonna go ahead and go through my little ending spiel and uh, close on down and then uh, I'll come right on back, okay? Right. Okay, folks, um, like I mentioned, uh, I'm going to go ahead and close on down here. I've already done, well, I mean, I've been streaming for seven hours already, so that's been a long stream. <laughs> um, but I think I've recorded it enough to probably get about, you know, easily get four hours out of the, uh, out of content and stuff like that. I'm probably going to need to do some editing to merge the two. So, um, here, you know what, uh, and just in case, let me go ahead and leave the squad there so they know they, they can move on to their own, um, Tasks real quick. Uh, plus, I need to kind of use the restroom anyway. So, um, but um, all these videos, all these uh, streams are eventually uploaded to my YouTube channel. So, feel free to check that out. Uh, link is down below on my Twitch About page for that. I also have links to my Discord, my Patreon, and my Twitter account down below on my Twitch About page, as well as in the description of my YouTube videos. So feel free to check any of those out if they if you have any interest in them. Um, you know, if you want to, you know, chat with me during the streams, Discord's the place to be. So um, uh, you're welcome to join the my clan that I have here on um, on Warframe. So if you're interested in joining the Strange Gamers clan, you're welcome to. Um, you know, I have room available. So um, plus, you know, I haven't built, um, you know, I haven't really built up any of the um, barracks for the dojo at all. So if, you know, if I really need to, I can always build, you know, uh, the the other barracks that are available. So, um, to to expand upon the capacity here in the dojo. So don't feel like you know, oh, I'm out of room. No, <laughs> I got plenty of room in the um, in the clan to include others. Plus. Um, you know, some people haven't been online, um, in a while, so, um, 
I'm okay with letting those those individuals go. Uh, if they haven't touched if they haven't touched uh, Warframe in you know in a while, then you know uh, the likelihood of them coming back to it is probably not going to happen. Uh, so, um, so I don't have any issues with, um, um, letting people that have been absent for close to a year go. So, um, so don't feel like, you know, you need to worry too much about like, Hey, is there room? There's plenty of room. <laughs> um, at least for now. Um, if it does get to a point where um, we are um, we don't have any space or anything along those lines, then I'll worry about it at that point. Maybe I'll create like a second clan or something like that. I don't know. We'll see. Um, create like an alpha or beta clan or something like that. You know, who knows? Um, so up, up to you guys on that, um, if you're interested. Um, uh, I also have a stream team that I built um, specifically for just trying to help out everybody that's on the team, uh, streamers and non-streamers alike. Um, if you stream, that the team is made to try to help you in your streaming endeavors. Um, you know, trying to set up collabs, set up tournaments, set up uh, charity events. Um, you know, see about trying to um, help on getting moderators. Um, if anybody is interested in commissioning out their music or their art. Um, you know, you're welcome to join on that. It, you know, if you stream that, great. Even, you know, if you if you don't stream, that's fine too. You are still welcome in the in the overall team, in the in the robot team, because um, you can you can still make a difference. You know, um, you know, I have a lot of sub teams on uh, in robot that are just built to um you know to help out streamers but i mean there's there's ways to you know be a non-streamer and still help out in you know in the robot team as well moderators artists musicians or whatever else you know that you guys can think of you know um i'm i'm open for any ideas that, you know, uh, people can think of that might help out, you know. Uh, so if you have a good idea as to what um, the team could do, feel free to suggest it. Uh, suggest it. I'm quite open on that. So, um, we're just looking for more people to join so that, um, you know, things get like easier to do as as we uh, expand on out. So, um, you know, the more more members we have, the um, I feel uh, the more we can do, obviously. So, uh, so if that's something that interests you, check out the application link down below on my Twitch about page. Uh, I've also been including it lately in my uh, YouTube videos. So um, check out that application page. There is a link on the application page to the Google document that explains everything about the team so far. Um, so if you feel like um, uh, you want to join and contribute then you know feel free to look at that document see see what it's all about um you know basically people helping people out um people lifting up others that's the idea behind the team 
So um, what I don't want to see is individuals that um, bring down others, you know, uh, people that do hate raids, that uh, demean and belittle um, other streamers, other, you know, people of color, people, you know, that, uh, you know, if, if you're demeaning anybody anywhere, then, yeah, it's... Um, I tend to look negatively on that, okay? Um, so, uh, you know, I will not stand for racists. I will not stand for bullies. Um, trolls I can deal with on occasion. Um, you know, as long as it's like a lighthearted, and that's okay. But uh, when you have trolls that are actively trying to harm, then that's that's not good. I don't like those kind of individuals. So, um, so, uh, but you know the the idea is to just try to get you know more and more people in to you know continue to lift people up. If that is of any interest, feel free to apply. Uh, sum, sum, submit your application and you know, I'll go through it. I'll review it. And if everything looks good, then you're in. There's, <laughs> there's no problem stipulating on that. Um, but, you know, if I do find out that there are people that are harassing on the team, then I will remove them from from the team we don't want that kind of element um, on the team we want people to lift people up not bring people down so um, so feel free to check that out um, and yeah I think that is about it um, I'll probably do that poll for you know what people want to see me you know, do you want to see me on Twitch? Do you want to see me on YouTube? I don't know. We'll see. Um, if if I do if uh, if I do have people that are interested in YouTube, then uh, I'll have to obviously make the transition over. But um, that'll be for another day. <laughs> so, but that's it, there, folks. We're gonna go ahead and close on down for the night. Um, Sorry about not doing anything with the stream raiders. Um, for, completely forgot about that. Um, well, I'll have to handle that next week. <laughs> um, but that's it. So take care. Have a good night. Stay healthy. Stay safe. Oh, oh, oh! I almost, I almost forgot. I almost forgot. Um, I want to shout out everybody that chatted with me, Vinny and Blackheart, uh, for stopping on by and chatting with me. But I also want to um give a shout out to gunsmoke who stopped on by earlier today um i appreciate those of you that are willing to chat with me here in the chat appreciate it um i also want to thank everybody that is in um that are just kind of lurking in the background i appreciate you guys being there as well so um you know I wouldn't mind if you guys chatted with me or if you wanted to participate with me, you know, that's, I'm open for that, but you know, I won't know and unless you ask. So, but that's, that's going to be it. So thank you very much for watching. I appreciate it. Hopefully I'll catch you next time. But until then, take care, have a good night, stay healthy, stay safe, and I'll catch you strangers next time. And we're going to go ahead and red, uh, red black heart now. So, Stick around for that. <laughs>